why I came here. There's a soul in this city. Life's to be enjoyed, not endured, and there's a lot of that. Who came to party? This can only happen in New Orleans. That's the magic of the festival. Mr. Marshall, it's uh, we met 19 years ago at the Sea Biscuit Junket. Oh wow! <laughs> so I was just finishing my interviews. I was heading to the airport, and you came walking up. You know, you were getting out of your your car, and uh, I just remember shaking your hand and saying hi to you. And and uh, so it's been a while. So it's great to be back in front of you. Yeah, nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Jazz Fest and New Orleans story. I tell you, I've been to every. My travels have taken me everywhere, and a couple times I've been to New Orleans has just been the most remarkable visits with the food and the culture and everything. And uh, it's just, you know, so when I heard about your documentary about the jazz, uh, New Orleans Jazz Festival, because I'm a jazz fanatic, I couldn't wait to see it. I never had a chance to attend, but 14 stages over eight days. How did you assemble your crew for such a monumental task? Well, that was the big challenge was how do we cover everything uh, and not miss anything? Um, and we, we did have the advantage of Quint Davis uh, kind of give a, tipping us off on, on what performers and artists uh, might be uh, a little bit different because I think the special thing about Jazz Fest is how diverse it is. You know, it's not really jazz, it's everything else under the sun and the culture and the heritage and the food. Um, so we wanted to capture all that and that's why there are two directors. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why in the documentary uh, in New Orleans is thick with culture, sounds and flavors, they go hand in hand, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, and, and we also wanted an opportunity not just to to shoot the performances, but to interview the artists. And so that was kind of a logistical problem because it's so noisy there, you know, at the at the fairgrounds that uh, you couldn't really do a proper interview. So we had to then schedule the day they arrived or the day they were finished. And so one of us would be at the festival, and one of us would be back at the hotel talking to Pitbull. Yeah. Also I, kind of cool. And not only that, you had to look through all this archival footage. Was it well preserved and easy to find? Yeah, they've done a really good job of uh, preserving everything. Um, and it's kind of like going on a little treasure hunt, you know, where where you're going, oh, what's in this box and what's in that box? And uh, we found a lot of great stuff like those original, uh, uh, the original uh, first a jazz fest with George Ween talking to Mahalia Jackson. That's 16 millimeter footage we were able to sync up with uh, with the uh, audio that we had, and that was really special. And George Ween is still around. You had him in the documentary. So talk about coming full circle. Yeah, yeah, and unfortunately he passed away last yeah. year, and we've dedicated the movie to him. But we I did have that. we did have 50 years of uh, his recollections. It was really. Really great to get them on camera again. That was the icing on the cake for this. I yeah. Mean, uh, I remember when I went to New Orleans for the first time, I saw the Preservation Hall band, you know, and that is just New Orleans to me. I was wondering, is there anyone in particular band or an artist that is New Orleans to you in this documentary? Well, there's there's kind of two. There's a uh, uh, good friend, Sonny Landreth, who uh, plays the blues like no one else. Uh, <laughs> and then my other good friend, Jimmy Buffett, he yes. really grew up in New Orleans and it's kind of his second home. I mean, he's from Alabama, but that's around the corner. Uh, so he really uh, he's been special and a special performer uh, at at the festival. So it meant a lot for him to be a part of this and uh, and to also be able to, you know, record his his performances. I was going to say, you look like a parrot head. So <laughs> <laughs> I am too. So you're in good company. Uh, also the Marsalis family. I mean, I've been to the Lincoln Center, uh, you know, uh, see his jazz place. And I've listened to Winton my whole life and to see his whole family. Uh, it was just what a legacy. Yeah, that was a special moment because the family uh, was all together. Uh, and to hear them talk about growing up with dad and dad sort of pushing them out on the stage and, you know, kind of a, the family dynamic there. And then seeing them all there was really special. And I loved how you do the history of the jazz funeral, because the first time I can remember as a kid seeing it in Live and Let Die in James Bond, where they did the funeral at the beginning. So I love how you go in and tell, talk about the history and the music and how it's unlike anything else in the world. 
Yeah, it is. I, I love that line. It's something like, you know, we celebrate when you come into the world and we celebrate when you go out. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's a good, you know, who wouldn't want a jazz funeral, you know? <laughs> and I would think a special place for you in the, in the concert series is Congo Square, you know, Congo, yeah. right? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to have that in there. So uh, <laughs> those of you who get that reference, uh, congratulations. Oh, yeah. It's one of my, it's one of my favorite films. Uh, we oh, talked about that. Well, at thank you. Too, so. <laughs> well, Frank, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, wonderful documentary. And I guess it's going great at South by Southwest. Was it a good success there? Well, we, we, uh, we actually, our first screening is Wednesday night. Okay. And one of the things I'm really happy about is Sony, Sony Classics has held this movie and not released it until it can be on the big screen in a theater where it needs to be seen and heard. And we're not sure when we're coming out, maybe May or June, but we're definitely going to be in the theaters and that's the way to see it. Well, I'll tell you this much, Frank, I've, I've won many bets uh, with Raiders of the Lost Ark saying, do you know who the pilot is of the X-Wing? <laughs> and, and I always win a, a few bets when I, when I challenge people on that. So that's one of my favorite stories. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm happy to be uh, able to, uh, you know, further your uh, financial uh, situation. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Good luck with the documentary and come visit us in Las Vegas soon. We'd love to have you. Will do. Thanks, Jeffrey.